In this video, I'm going to decorate a small two-tier wedding cake with buttercream icing. So here, I'm just putting a nice thin crumb coat on my bottom tier, and then you're gonna see me scrape most of that back off to put a textured design on there. Now for this top tier, this is a six inch round. I'm also decorating it with buttercream icing, but it will actually be just smooth so I can go back and paint on some gold accents. So I'm actually gonna completely cover this tier in the buttercream, and right here I'm just cutting off a little bit of edge pieces so they didn't show through onto the cake. Here you see me using a Viva paper towel to smooth out all the little lines on my buttercream. This will take out any imperfections. You still have to get fairly smooth with your scraper, but this will take out all those little lines or air bubbles that might appear on the cake. Then I am getting those small dowels you see me cutting there to support the top tier. When you're doing a two tier like this, that top tier is a six inch round, so these small narrow dowels are plenty of support for that size cake. And I just usually order mine off of Amazon. Then I lift it up, stack it on top like you just saw me do, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna smooth out the edges there where the two cakes meet before I finish decorating it. Now I'm using a skewer, just a wooden skewer that you would get from the grocery store to nail down through both tiers just to hold the two tiers together. So when traveling, if someone did have to slam on their brakes, the cake would stay intact. The top tier would stay on top of the bottom tier. And now I'm going back and adding that texture that I was talking about. So I'm just doing this with a large round tip. If the largest you have is a 12 tip, I think that's by Wilton, that'll work. But this is actually a little bit larger. This is actually meant for icing cupcakes with a round tip. So I'm actually just putting the dots all in a row like you can see me doing there and using a small angled cake spatula to smooth them out and then doing that over and over again all the way around. And that's gonna give you kind of a scallop look at the end. I also want to point out, when I go back with that angled spatula and just pull back on that dot and kind of scrape it a little bit, after each scrape, I have to scrape off the spatula and back into my icing bucket because you don't want any extra icing on the back of your spatula as you go from dot to dot or you'll get like a nice clumpy look and you don't want that, you want it to be smooth. So make sure you're scraping it after each dot. It can be a little time consuming, but it's totally worth it. Thank you. 
Now, once again, I go back and touch it up with a little bit of Eva paper towel just to push down any little flyaway pieces. And then I'm just piping a really simple bead border in between the two layers. And then here you see me with a paintbrush. I'm adding a little bit of gold luster dust to the edges and I've actually added vodka to that because it dries really quickly. It'll evaporate really quickly to make it into a paint. You want it kind of thick. You don't want it to drip down your cake. And now I'm actually adding a little bit of gold foil here and there. And I use a dry paintbrush to apply that. Um, they're very abstract pieces. They're not cut out any certain way. I just kind of tear them off the gold foil sheet and touch them to the cake with my paintbrush just to add a little flex of extra gold. And here's the finished cake. Thanks. Please subscribe.